Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Uh, sorry, there hasn't been any content for a week. I've had both kids at home with COVID, uh, which does suck. They're both absolutely fine, uh, but obviously video production has taken a bit of a backseat, which is uh, never a good thing. Um, it's also limited my PTR testing time a little bit, uh, but today I thought we'd do a quick guide on how to get uh, fantastic augments for season 26. This is how to get level 125 augments. Um, I'm tempted to say for free, you are obviously going to have to put some effort in. Uh, so maybe super easy and barely an inconvenience. Uh, one, two, fives is probably the better way to phrase it. Uh, this is following an update to the PTR that came a few days ago. Before we do jump in though, guys, as always, a thumbs up uh, brightens my day, helps out the channel a lot. Uh, and if you could chuck me a comment, do you like the season theme? Uh, have you tested it? Have you played it? What are your thoughts? Right, now I think in the last video where we talked about the season theme, we did kind of show uh, there is this way of doing the augments using the Whispers of Atonement, uh, and they were at level 100. They weren't capped at that, uh, so it was kind of like finding a legendary gem uh, at the end of your Echoing Nightmare Rift, and it was, you know, 500 points of main stat if you just slapped it on. Or you could just kind of short circuit the augment process by leveling this up from say 100 to 120, 130, 150, whatever it is that you want. Uh, in the update, uh, not only have they made the mode more fun to play, uh, hopefully that's evidenced by the gameplay in the background, simply because we've now got elites, we've now got bosses, uh, there are environmental effects that come down, so poison meteors um, that really do hit pretty hard. Um, so there's a lot more going on. It, you know, it is more fun to play than it was. Uh, it's still uh, ultimately is, is going to get repetitive, but uh, it is more fun. So that is good. Now, one of the changes is, is that once you get past wave 100, uh, you then start actually getting rewarded with a better Whisper of Atonement. Uh, really good change because it does incentivize people to go a little bit further. Uh, so let's say this one here, uh, I died at wave 108. So I got a 108 Whisper of Atonement. Um, these go now up to 125. So wave 125 is the maximum uh, that you can do to get a Whisper of Atonement at max level. So if you do a 150 wave, a 200 wave, it doesn't matter. You're still only gonna get this 125 Whisper of Atonement. But uh, the reason that is good is simply because uh, obviously you can stick it in to the cube. You can put in your gems. Uh, oh, we don't have enough, do we? Let's go get some out of the stash. You can stick it in there with them, uh, and that will give you a an augment similar to last season if you were going to use a maxed soul shard uh, and get that 625 uh, onto your main stat, uh, which obviously is a pretty decent power jump. You know, we're going to get 625 decks on a monk or, or int on a necro or whatever, uh, and that across all slots is going to be. Uh, pretty good. Uh, as far as I can tell, the rest of the rewards haven't changed. Uh, personally, I do think that they need to do something with the rewards because from a from a character progression point of view, XP is still capped at 150, so there's no real need to go past wave 150 in there. You're just kind of wasting time. That feels bad. That needs to change. I think it's a bit silly to have a game mode with such a hard cap on it like that. Um, Past wave 125, if you're a really casual player, um, you could just stop at 125 and collect all your Whisper of Atonements. I think that's probably going to be inefficient. You probably still want to press on to 150. Uh, and it's not it's not that hard to do uh, with the pylons in the Rift. Um, it does make it kind of easy. You just need to not take them immediately uh, and wait a little bit later on. But in some respects, this means that we can now get these Whisper of Atonements done uh, and you'll be able to get pretty much, uh, I mean, if you're getting one of these rift, it takes about three minutes to do a rift up to 125, obviously possibly faster for better builds, possibly slower for worse builds, but you could literally spend about an hour, uh, maybe two hours, uh, and you would have an entire set decked out with 125 level augments, much faster than last season, because whilst the soul shards themselves were very easy to find, the, the limiting factor in there was, well, one, some of them you wanted to keep and use in your build, uh, and two, the embers weren't exactly uh, ubiquitous. They weren't hard to find, 
uh, but they weren't easy. Whereas I know that if I play this game next season for about three or four hours, uh, I will be basically be able to get enough petrified screams to open up 15, 20 of these rifts. I know I'm going to get to one, two, five, and all of them, uh, and I know I'm going to get augment. So augment is going to be even faster uh, next season than this season, uh, and that is potentially quite interesting because, uh, as we were saying in the last video, it does get everybody up to that kind of like minimum level, and it does mean that augmenting, like if you thought augmenting in season 25 was nice and easy, uh, wait till you do this because you will have every sass that you want to play. Uh, with one two five it's it's just going to be ridiculously easy um you know obviously gem farming is going to be the uh the, the main thing that we're going to have to be looking out for uh, but that is it guys that is how to get a full set of 125 augments in pretty much no time at all as i say honestly once you once you get a build uh that can do wave one two five which won't be hard because there's just the vast xp you get out of this mode uh you will you will just need ancient pieces. Um, you'll, you'll even be able to org everything straight away with 125s and then go back and redo them later uh, if you want to. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting, going to be fun. That's how we're going to augment next season. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, as always, guys, thumbs up. Any feedback, greatly appreciated. Uh, I'll see you again real soon with some more videos. Take it easy. Peace.